Everybody, it's Fred Hassan with Sit Me and Sit Dog Training and our video for the day. Today involves a retrieving drill on a public baseball diamond with our Thunder 100 retriever launcher. I use home plate to keep the dog steady there so I can see where he's at. I like to always use markers if a dog is stationary. It's kind of like marking your golf ball, that that's the spot that they're in. This becomes habit quickly. Thunder 100 is a great launching device because you can use it just about anywhere. In this situation, It's easier for me to throw it because I'm looking for placement right along the first baseline. It would be hard for me to launch it and get it right where I want it. So it's just another piece of how versatile this is. I'm lining myself up now with second base. And again, throwing it makes it easier for placement, but I still get the sound of the shotgun. You could walk around with a 22 starter pistol, but you've got to keep loading them. And this simulated shotgun sound keeps a dog excitement level high. And I'm purposely walking this drill because it takes longer to walk it and the dog has to remain steady longer. I like to run this drill with a bumper in his mouth. He has to concentrate harder. I use second base as a marker as something that he has to run over to keep him in line. And then I have him exchange him. I have him drop one and pick up the other one. That way there's always one out there and I could run this drill for as long as I want. He's also got a visual target there so when I give him a right come in cast, he can see and line that up with where he's coming in. I'm running it again just so you can see him go over the base and you can see this bumper exchange down here. So until tomorrow, sit means sit.